sure there's two kinds of markets that are primarily utilized. That's food fish and uh, ornamental fish or aquarium fish. So we do both. This is our some of our ornamental fish. These are clownfish. This is a gold stripe maroon clownfish, and they. Um, are fairly easy to raise and when Finding Nemo came out and every kid in America wanted a clownfish, there was aquaculture that sort of made up that demand and, and helped um, reduce the pressure on the wild stocks. And so she'll actually stick her eggs to the back side of this tile. It feels like a piece of reef rock and the male will come over and fertilize it. And then we can, right before the eggs hatch, we'll pull the eggs out and raise them up. Um, these are, are blue stripe grunts. These are fish that we've raised. We have the adults in the tank over there and um, as a partnership with the North Carolina Aquariums, we got the broodstock, we feed them, they've spawned, we've raised the fish and then put them back on display at the aquarium. So that's a, a species they'd like to have big schools of them swimming around. So to get a, a whole school of fish, is hard to capture, transport, and get them back. So if you raise them, raise them yourself, um, that benefits. So we do some training with them and help them uh, develop their own fish culture techniques as well as um, provide opportunities for students to get experience working in a public aquarium.